Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Hope you're all doing fine and today we're gonna continue with the second part of the introduction of the meditations by Marcus Aurelius. So let's do this. The settlement made after these troubles might have been more satisfactory but for unexpected rising at, in the east. Avidus Cassius enable enable captain who had won reworn re, re own renown who had won renown and the Parthian wars was at this time chief governor of the eastern provinces by whatever means included in duck sorry induced induced by whatever means induced he had con conceived the project of proclaiming himself imperial as soon as marcus who was then in feeble feeble health should die and the report having been conveyed to him that Marcus was dead, Cassius did he had planned, as he has had planned. Marcus, on her hearing the news, immediately patched up a piece and re returned home to meet her to meet this new peril. The emperor's great great grief was that he must needs engage in the horrors of civil strife. He praised the qualities of Cassius, Cassius and expressed a heartfelt wish that Cassius might not, might not, might not be driven to do himself to hurt before he should have the opportunity to grant a free pardon. But before he could come to the east news had come to Cassius that the emperor still lived. His followers fell away from him and he was assassinated. Marcus now went to the east and while there the murderers brought, he brought the head of Cassius, Cassius, Cassius to him. But the emperor indignant and indignantly refused their gift, nor would he admit the man to his presence, nor would he admit the man of his presence. All right. On this journey, his wife Faustina died. At his return, the emperor celebrated a triumph. 176. Immediately afterwards, he repaired to Germany and took up once more the burden of war. His operations were followed by, by complete success, but the troubles of late years had been too much for his constitution, at no time robust. And on March 17, 180, he died in Pannonia. The good emperor was not spared domestic troubles. Faustina had, had borne himself. Sorry. <laughs> Faustina had borne born him several children, of whom he, he was passionately fond their innocent faces may still be seen in many sculpture gallery recalling with odd effect of dreamy countenance countenance of their father but they died
by but they died one by one and when marcus came to his own end only one of his sons still lived the weak and worthless commodus on his father father's death commodus who succeeded him undid the work of many campaigns by a hasty and unwise peace and his reign of 12 years proved him to be the fa fairy fairy fair ferocious ferocious very violent ferocious and bloodthirsty ty tyrant scandal has made free with his name of Festina herself who is accused not only of unfa unfaithfulness unfaithfulness but of intriguing with Cassius and egging him on his fatal rebellion fatal rebellion it must be admitted that these cha charges rest on no sure evidence and the emperor at all events events love her there dearly nor ever felt the slightest qualm qualm of suspicion suspicion As a soldier, we have seen that Marcus was both capable and successful. As an administrator, he was prudent and conscientious. Conscientious. Prudent and, and conscientious. Although steeped in the teachings of philosophy, he did not attempt to remodel the world on any preconceived plan. He trod the path beaten by his prats preda predecessors predecessors seeking only to do his duty as well as he could and to keep out corruption he did some unwise thing unwise things it is true to create a com compare in empire as he did with Verus, was a dangerous innovation which could only succeed if one of two effaced himself and under the diaclarian in under diaclarian this very precedent precedent caused the roman empire to split into halves halves he erred in his civil admin administration by too much centra centralizing. But the strong point of his reign was the administration of justice. Marcus sought by laws to protect, protect the weak, to make the lord of the slaves less hard to stand in place of father 
to the fatherless. Charitable foundations were endowed for rearing and educating poor children. The provinces were protected against oppression and public help was given to cities or districts which might be visited by calm calamity. calamity. The great blood of his name and one hard, in, hard indeed to explain is his treatment of the Christians in his re reign Justin at Rome became a martyr to his faith and Poly Polycarp at Smyrna, Smyrna and we know of many outbreaks of Fanatis, fan, fan, fanaticism, fan, fanaticism, fanaticism, in the provinces which caused the death of the faithful. It is no excuse to plead that he knew nothing about the atrocities done in his name. It was the duty to know, and if he did not, and if he did not, he would have been the first, the first to confess that he had failed in his duty. But from his own tone in speaking of the Christians, it is clear he knew them only from, from, column, 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 calumny. And we hear here of no measures taken even to secure that they should have a fair hearing. In this respect, Trajan was better than he. All right, guys. I'm done with the second part and we're going to continue with the third one. But tomorrow, thank you for joining me today and see you. Bye.